Today we will be folding an origami flasher designed by Jeremy Schaefer. First, we're going to start by folding the paper in half horizontally. So take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge. And unfold. Now we are going to divide the square into fourths. So in order to do this, we have to take the top edge and fold it into the center crease. Okay, and then unfold. And now you should have a crease here. Now we take the bottom edge and fold it up to the center crease. And unfold. Now you should have a square that's divided into fours. Now we're going to divide the paper into eighths. As you can see, right now it's divided into fourths. So in order to divide it into eighths, we have to split each fourth in half. So, to start, we have to take this top edge and fold it to the top crease. And unfold. And then we take the bottom edge and fold it to the bottom crease. And unfold. And now you should have a crease here and a crease here. But these two center rectangles still aren't divided. So in order to do that, we have to make sure that this center crease is a mountain fold. So, a mountain fold is if you look at it from the side, it looks like a mountain. So now, to divide these creases, these rectangles, we're going to take this center crease and fold it to the bottom crease. And unfold. And now you should have a crease right here. Now, to do the other one, we have to do the same thing. We make sure this is a mountain fold, and we fold it to the top crease. And unfold. So you should have a square that's divided into eights. Now we must divide the square into sixteenths. As of now, it's divided into eights. As you can see, we have eight equal rectangles running down the paper. So, in order to divide it into sixteenths, we have to do the same thing that we did when we divided it into eighths. So, we start by taking this top edge and folding it down to this top crease. And unfold. And do the same with the bottom. So, fold the bottom edge up to the bottom crease. Okay. Now, to divide each rectangle in half, what we have to do is bring one edge of the rectangle to the other edge of the rectangle, just like we did before. So, let's take this one for example, and we make that a mountain fold, one edge of this rectangle, and we're going to bring it to the other edge here to make a crease down the middle of that rectangle. So, just like this, we bring the crease to the other side of the rectangle and then we unfold and we have a crease running down that rectangle. Now you do the same thing with the next one. You make a mountain fold here on one side of the rectangle and you fold it to the other side of the rectangle. continue to do this all the way down until you get to the last one. So 
So now, once you have reached the bottom, you should have a square that's divided into 16 equal rectangles. Now, you rotate the paper and repeat the same steps that we did before so that it results in a 16 by 16 grid. Once complete, your grid should look like this. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be using another grid, a 16 by 16 grid that I've prepared without all of the marks in it so that it's easier for you to follow along with. Right now, we are zoomed in on the center of the grid. The little plus shows the very center where the two middle creases intersect. So now what we need to do is pinch four little creases along that square that I've marked right there. So I'll zoom out so I can show you how to do that. Okay, now it may also help to draw this little square on your paper with the pencil and then you can erase it later. So in order to do this, you have to locate where the crease would be and you basically just pick up the paper and give it a little pinch right where that crease is marked. Okay, so now we have a crease right here. So you just do the same thing with all of the other three creases. Okay. Try not to make these creases extra long where they extend past the box or else you make unnecessary creases that will hurt your model later. So now I've marked all four creases.